this video i am going to tell you about how to add a banner ad in admob ad into the need help application so this is the home screen of need help application this this is the home screen of need help application and we are going to add a banner ad in the relative layout so we are going to give the layout width as match parent and layout height as wrap content and the idea of relative layout is rl ads so ad view is pro is main activity this and set ad units is coming from the ad mob site ad size is ad size dot smart banner and we are here loading ad request rl ads as you can see is the id of relative layout we have given the both layout params as wrap content and align bit bo parent bottom as true and the gravity as center horizontal so it will align in at the center of the bottom and we have remove all the views so we are now going to log in to our admob account to see how the ad unit id comes so go to the admob site and sign in with your gmail id you can create your admob account by signing up with your gmail id i am going to log in log in in with my gmail id as you log on to your admob account go to the monetize tab and click on new monetize new app and search for any app you like to monetize i am searching for need help app click on search button click on need help app your app must be available on google play if these are the two banner ads that are available if you want to add a new app a new ad click on add new unit and click on banner ad if i i want to add a banner ad so i click on banner ad it can be both text and image give the name of the ad in the ad unit name and click on next so here and in the second field you will get the ad unit id and click on done so here also you will get the ad unit id so here is how you get the ad unit id one more thing is you need to give the user permissions and the google metadata and the other things in the android manifest so open android manifest give the user permission for internet the uh, google services metadata and the android act uh, ads activity declare the android activity in the 